The fire marshal says that it was unattended candles that caused the fire at this apartment building behind me along Union Street here in Vernon. And we got the chance to speak to residents who were inside at the time, and they said that it was chaos when they were trying to get out. Well, inform Laura that her business is here in the apartment upstairs is on fire, please. A fire at an apartment building in Vernon trapped people inside, many needing to be rescued by firefighters. I tried to crawl at first, got lost in, the, in a little section, turned around, was able to find my door again, went back out, called my mom, told her I couldn't see anything and I didn't know what to do. It, took, it felt like an hour walking through the hallway or crawling through a rug burn. He was able to make it out on his own eventually, but he was one of seven people who needed to be taken to the hospital. I was on oxygen for six hours. My O2 levels were low, my carbon was high, and it just kept checking on me every few minutes. Those who were rescued from the fire didn't have to go far to get help because the hospital was fortunately located right across the street. Uh, but literally, we had uh, uh, wheelchairs and stretchers from the ambulance and from the uh, hospital coming right out onto scene and bringing the people in the emergency department for triage and care. The fire marshal says the fire started because of candles that were left unattended, something fire officials say can be especially dangerous in apartment buildings where many people live. Fires can usually take off very quickly and get out of control and affect lives and property. Officials say 13 families were displaced. Many of them are being helped by the Red Cross, but the Cornerstone Foundation, an organization in town, has also stepped up. Because we're shelters, um, basically Cornerstone has the basics, food, clothing, and shelter. We have the soup kitchen, which has prepared food, but we also have you know, the canned food and the take-home food like that. So whatever it takes, we're willing to help. Residents say it's unfortunate the fire happened just days before Christmas and that they now don't know how many of their belongings they lost or when they'll be able to go back home. I got some of my clothes. i um, going to go to my mom's, wash them up, see what I can salvage. There's a lot of smoke soot. Um, it seems like it needs a lot of deep cleaning. Cornerstone also says that they've had people from the community reach out to them about wanting to raise funds for the families that were affected by the fire. So Cornerstone's going to be making a bank account in order to connect, collect donations. Live in Vernon, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.